So what have we been talking about for all these weeks? Vestments. And who wears vestments? And, and, the deacon, the bishop, and the priest. I put myself last. And what are deacons and priests and bishops? Do we have a word for them all together? But specifically for the people who are ordained, we call them the clergy. The people who have a specific job in the life of the church. Are they the church? No, they are part of the church. So what is the church? Everyone. And who knows what we call the church? There's an analogy, a metaphor that we make. What do we call the church apart from the church? The faithful. But we're connected to Christ. What are we to Christ? We are the body of Christ. And if we want to understand the role that the clergy have in the church, we have to start with the church. We have to start with all of us. Not just me, not just you, but all of us together. If we are the body of Christ, then what does a body have? Uh, shoulders, knees, and I'm not going to do head, shoulders, knees, and toes in front of you. But the body has different parts, different members. The hand can't do the job of a foot unless you're an acrobat. The knee can't do the job of a cheek. The mouth can't do the job of a toe, right? Every part of the body has a different job and a different function. And if you look at what the epistle says today, it talks about that, how all of us are different members and have different jobs. And if you want to understand the job that the clergy have, think of that. Now, who is the head of the church? Well, Christ. Christ is the head of the church because the church is his body. So Christ is the head. But you're right, too. Because for a gathering to work, for an assembly of Christians to be more than just a bunch of Christians getting together and talking, or not talking, hopefully you're not talking in church, right? There needs to be someone taking the lead, someone in charge, someone who is serving as the head, and that is the bishop's job. That's why on the bishop's throne, whose picture do we have? Christ. And what's he dressed as? He's dressed as a bishop. He is dressed as a bishop to show that the bishops are supposed to be filling the role of Christ. They are doing his job in a visible and active way when we gather together to have the liturgy. That's why we have to have a bishop, so that we can see the living image of Christ. That's the bishop's job. We have the icon of Christ, we have the pictures, and then we have the bishop, who is a living, breathing, walking, talking icon of Christ for all of us. So we remember that the church has to have a head. Now, what's the priest's job in all of this? Because if the bishop is the head, then, well, the priest, what's he? The priest, we can say, is the hands. But sometimes when the bishop isn't there, not just sometimes, most of the time, the priest does that part of the job. We don't forget that the bishop is the one who's in charge, but the priest is the one who serves in front of the altar table and does that job. He presides over the people on behalf of the bishop, the bishop who serves as the image of Christ. Okay, those are technical terms, and I know it's a little bit esoteric, perhaps, but uh, never mind. Esoteric is too esoteric a word. Kala, I apologize. The point is, remember this. 
Christ is the head of the church. The bishop is the image of Christ. The priest serves on his behalf, and the deacon helps. Those are the jobs. Christ is the head, the bishop is the image of Christ, so we can see and touch. The priest serves on behalf of the bishop when the bishop isn't there, and the deacon helps. And when we don't have a deacon, what do we have? Altar boys, and they do most of the work of the deacon. But the point is, everybody has a particular job, a particular function, a particular role. And in the life of the church, that doesn't just mean the clergy. A body that's just, well, a person that's just a head is dead, right? Unless you're watching Futurama. Okay. Thank you. The head is important, but without the body, it's nothing. And every one of you is a part of the body of Christ. I'm not sure what part you are. I'm not sure what role you play. That's something that you each need to figure out. You need to find what you enjoy in the church, what you can do to help in the church, who needs you in the church, what you like, what you don't like, something to do in the community, not just sitting in the church, but in the whole every day of your lives. You all are members of the body of Christ, and therefore you have a place and a role. Some serve in the altar, some teach in the school, some sing in the choir, some sing at the chant stand, some read the epistle, some help in the narthex, some clean afterwards, some go and visit in the hospitals, some make a phone call and say, how are you doing? You look sad on Sunday. We all have a role. And the priest's role isn't any more important than anyone else's. It's more visible. It's more central. But a body without a head is no more defective than a head without a body, but no less either, or a body without a hand or a knee or any other part. We are only the body of Christ together. And if you remember anything from all the talk about the vestments and the clergy, remember that. We each have a role to play. We each have a job to do. And if you're not sure what your job is, well, then start looking, however young or old you are. So with that, please stand. We will take communion again. Please let the Sunday school go first, and then come in line after them.